How do you become a sales pro? A sales pro, uh, a real estate professional, a shark, a wolf. How do we become that uh, in real estate? I think that kind of piggybacking off of another video that we've made recently is really you're not going to start off that way. I think that it's really important. You know, for me in the very beginning of my career, I hadn't sold anything. I had leased a lot of things, but my first two transactions fell out. They busted out. And that was a heartbreaker. You know, eight years ago when I started my real estate career, the first six, seven months of my real estate career were nothing but leases. And I did get a listing and a buyer under contract. The buyer was new construction. The listing had a crazy lien on the house. And eventually we got all the way almost to closing on both of them. And they both busted out. So lots of pain in the beginning of my six, seven month real estate career. But you know, I was not a shark. I was not a wolf, but I had to eventually get over those losses in body or take on the mindset of another person, right? Another persona. I love Ryan Serhant. Uh, Ryan Serhant is still a major, you know, role model for me. Also, you know, uh, John McMonagle from another sales show on, on Bravo or Netflix. And then another local mentor to me is Dwayne Camp, which we've had some videos a long time in the past with him. And he got me into real estate, but is really just kind of the type of person I want to be. I would say probably the number one that I would recommend anyone getting into sales that really does want to, you know, kind of have uh, all of those personas that I just talked about it is surround yourself with people that are at or have been where you want to go. And so that's kind of a two part thing. You need to have a vision of where you want to go. You need to have an idea of who you want to be in two, three, five, 10 years in this career. And then the second thing is you need to surround yourself with people that are where you want to go or have been where you want to go. Uh, and the way I did that was with a coach. I hired a coach uh, about, I'd say maybe six, seven months before I launched the bridge group. And I should have hired a coach way before that. But that coach allowed us to say, hey, this is how we're going to set up your company. This is how we're going to set up your business. And not what do you want your business to look like now? What do you want your business to look like in five, 10 years? And that's how we set our company up. So as far as being a sales professional, it starts with planning and it starts with surrounding yourself with someone that is where you want to be and listening to them, humbling yourself, listening to them, learning from them. Is that sales really isn't about the product. If we're talking about real estate sales, we're, the, the product, the houses, right? That's not who we're selling to. We're not selling to a house. Sales is about people. It's about relationships. And that's probably one of the most valuable lessons that I have learned in the last eight years of selling real estate full time. This is all about our clients. Uh, having a relationship based company is way more valuable than having a transactional based company. So focus on the people and the sales will always be there.